Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and in this video, I'm going to review to you um, Easy A. Now, this was a movie I heard was very, very funny, and it's always seemed like an interesting movie, and um, I always heard that Emma Stone was really good, so I thought I would check the movie out. Yes, um, and it definitely looked really good. One of the reasons is because of this cast. I mean, you do have a really good cast in here, and um, yeah, yeah. So, um, I checked the movie out, and I gotta say that Easy A is hilarious, it's heartfelt, it's one of the really, really cool things I've seen in a long time, and I really, really enjoyed Easy A. It's really, really good. Um, so the basic plot of this, basically, is that, um, Emma Stone plays Olive, who is this, uh, high school student, basically, she's an average high school student, and basically, um... There are these uh, rumors that start to flow, and it all starts when she when uh, when her best friend thinks she has had sex with this guy, um, this college guy, and she says, "Oh no, 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 I didn't." But then she says, "I did," and then it gets really out of control once this um once her friend who's gay wants to basically um pretend to have sex with her so people won't uh, torment him and make his reputation better so he seems straight and people won't make fun of him anymore. So she basically does it for a one night stand, but this basically gets out of control because then more guys want her to do it, and eventually, you know, more guys want her to do the same thing to them, basically, to help them out. And basically, um, it gets crazy and people start calling her a slut, and soon she is like a social outcast at school. Well, at the same time, though, um, their English teacher, her favorite teacher, Mr. Griffiths, is basically, um, teaching, uh, the Scarlet Letter, which was this story about this girl, um, who, I guess was like 1800, she basically had to wear an A on her clothing, and the A stood for adultery, and she basically starts doing the same thing, and this basically makes her social outcast at school, and it just gets really, really crazy. And yeah, so that's a basic plot, but there's a lot more to it, and I definitely did really enjoy it. One thing I will say about this is that I kind of felt like, um, the TV show Awkward, you know, that's one of my favorite shows, I kind of feel like they got the idea from this, because the way that she narrates in this, it's very similar to the show Awkward. I mean, it's all done on a video camera, you know, she's talking to them, but on Awkward, it's, it's, um, it's still on a computer, but instead, instead of video chat, it's a, uh, live, uh, web chat. A chat room, basically. In this, though, it's a video chat, and I definitely felt like that was a similarity. That was my tablet, sorry. <laughs> By the way, um, yeah, if you guys don't remember in the last video, I used my phone case, so I'm back to the, uh, white case now. But basically, yeah, so things start to get out of control. And the other thing that I thought that was similar to Awkward was just the way it was a lot like Awkward in that it's a comedy and a drama. It's both. And do you guys kind of see that similarity? I mean, these both came out at the same time, 2010. Um, so... This year, 2010 or 2011. Let me think about that. Was it 2010 or 2011? It was 2011, actually, that's what it was. It was, it was 2011, so. But, um, yeah. But basically, um, the reason the movie is so good are because of the performances. The performances in here are great. First of all, Emma Stone. This girl is definitely a really good actress. Anyone who says she's great is right, because she has such range in this movie. She's hilarious. There are some really great scenes in here. There's just one scene that's very early in the movie. Where Chase gets this card, and it has a song packed full of sunshine. In the beginning of the movie, she hates that song. But then days go by, and you see that she starts to love that song, and she's dancing to it. That scene right there is just a very simple scene, but it's very funny. She also had such great comedic timing, and I thought she was really great in the movie. She was definitely the best part. Um, then you have, um, let's see, who else? You have Amanda Bynes, and it's very bittersweet to watch me. Bynes, because, I mean, we all know what's going on with Amanda Bynes, but she was great in this movie. She basically plays a very Christian girl, who the main antagonist of the movie is out to get Olive, and she 
is very funny at points, and I really think that, I really wish Amanda Binder just get her life together, because she really is a great actress. I mean, I loved her on The Amanda Show, all that. I love those shows, but she really needs to get her life together, because she really is a great actress. Um, then you have Tom as her teacher, Mr. Griffiths, and he was very funny. Uh, I thought he was really great as the teacher. He's very funny, and I really did enjoy his character. Um, then you had um, Ali Mashaka as her best friend, um, Rhiannon, and she's not in the movie as much as she is, but she was pretty good. I mean, she was a re she is a really good actress. Definitely her best movie was Band Slam. I definitely think that that was So, yeah. Then you have Lisa Kudrow, and Lisa Kudrow is great in this movie. She's very funny. That's something else reminds me of her crazy, crazy, crazy guidance counselor. Although in this one, there's a little more of a story to that than it is in Awkward, but that's something else reminding me of the movie, which is crazy, crazy guidance counselor. And then you have her parents, who are just hilarious in this movie. Patricia Clarkson and her mother tries to give her good advice, but she always ends up giving her the wrong advice. And that's exactly like, you know, in Awkward, her mom always tries to give her good advice, but she ends up telling her to do the wrong thing. In this, she does give her the right advice, but she ends up, like, telling her things that aren't true, and it's it's very crazy. And it's definitely a very funny, crazy movie. Overall, I really did enjoy Easy A. It is very funny, and, you know, if I tell you anything else, I'm going to ruin it, but... The one thing I did like were the 80s references. I didn't, I wasn't born in the 80s. I mean, I was born in 1998. Well, my parents have exposed me to so much 80s stuff that like my life is basically, you would think I was born in the 80s because I've been exposed to so many 80s movies, so many 80s music because my parents are just, they were teenagers in the 80s and they play 80s music all the time. Like half of the music they play is 80s music. If it's not 80s, it's country. So, yeah. But, um, I like the 80s references with, you know, Say Anything, The Breakfast Club. Um, I don't know the one on the lawn, though. I don't really know what that's from. But I like the way they ended it with her getting the guy in the end and everything up for her. Also, I must say, she does sing in this movie at the end. She has a really nice voice. I mean, I don't know why they didn't include it on the soundtrack, but she has a really nice voice. And I don't know if it was auto-tuned or if it was dubbed or anything. If that's her real voice, she has a really nice voice because she really did have a great voice on that song. But yeah, overall, I really did enjoy Easy A. It's very fun. It's a very fun movie. Just watch it. You'll have a really great time. And you'll really enjoy it. Okay. So that's it for my review of Easy A. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you guys saw the movie. And I will see you guys next video, which I'll either be watching... Either Donnie Darko or Terry. So, see you guys for one of those movie reviews. So, see you then. Bye.